Hey Pisces, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing amazing. It's October. I love the fall. Love it. I love the pumpkins and the leaves and the smell and the whole everything. That apple cider and I just love it. April too, but I love fall. I'm excited it's October. So this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Pisces and we're going to do it from scratch. I have the good old Thoth deck with me, and I'm going to clarify with the complete uh, polar opposite because the Thoth is so deep and complicated that it's profound. But the Rider weight is so simple that it's profound, right? And I just love the mix between the two of them. So this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Pisces. This is not your personal reading. This is a forecast for the sign of Pisces. It's like when on your side of the town, it's sunny, but you see the dark skies rolling in and the thunder in the skies, but you never get any rain, right? And your mom calls you like an hour later and she's like, oh my God, we're out of power. There's limbs down, there's leaves everywhere, right? And you didn't get any of it. Kind of like that, right? This isn't your reading. I read for people all day, every day. And each and every person's journey is different. So you may see a thread in this, but it's not for you. So anyway, there you go. Get yourself a personal tarot card reading with any of your favorite tarot card readers. If you have any questions, if you need clarification, confirmation, confirmation, understanding, or wisdom about the things that are happening in your life, okay? Get a tarot card reading. You can get one from me at deepthoughtswithdana.com link is in the box below. All right, Pisces. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. So good and shuffled. You just let me do my thing real quick. You just let me do my thing real quick and we'll get started on this reading. Spirit, source, universal energy. Can you please give me messages for the collective of Pisces? Pisces. What do you know about Pisces, Spirit? Well, what's coming down the road for Pisces? What's in the future for Pisces? What does Pisces have to look forward to? What should Pisces be aware of? How should Pisces proceed on this journey, Spirit? Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring the collective of Pisces the very best information that we can. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to exp explain them to Pisces in a way that the Pisces can apply to their lives. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle two more times. I'm going to cut three times, and I'm going to pull 15 cards off the top. One, two, three. All right. Let's see what we got, Pisces. Let's prepare to be amazed. The Princess of Swords. Thought pattern, planning, formulating something. To luxury. Luxury is a card about having more than enough. Happiness, which is the Nine of Cups in this deck. Luxury being the Four of Cups, the Princess of Swords being the Princess of Swords, right? So luxury being the Four of Cups, happiness being the Nine of Cups in this deck. The Queen of Swords, some truth, some action, a decision. To the Prince of Wands, taking inspired action. Nice. So in this top row, just to clarify, what we have is um, somebody formulating or planning to obtain more than enough or attain more than enough happiness in their life, a decision or truth being spoken, and inspired action. Oppression, the Ten of Swords in this deck, the Ace of Cups, new beginnings, new beginning in love, emotions, the Hierophant in the center of your reading. Commitment, institutional, your place in life. The Knight of Discs, this is looking into the future. Strength, it's the Nine of Wands in this deck. The Star, hope, faith, purpose, and oh, let's recap this middle row right here. 
So oppression, uh, the Ten of Swords, it, it's just that, right? Oppression to the Ace of Cups, emotions, overwhelming emotions to the Hierophant when it comes to some kind of commitment, some kind of posture in your place in life. Looking into the future, needing strength to the star card, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal to the magician, manifesting, resourcefulness, taking action, the princess of discs, princess of pentacles, um, princess of coin. This is about um, manifesting new opportunities, potentially financial. The four of discs, power, just that, power. Ooh, nice. And the two of discs. I thought so. The two of discs. Change, right? Change. Very nice. Let's get a couple outcome cards. We got the hangman, prudence, and the sun. All right. Let's clarify this, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. My camera keeps... Sorry. If you're prone to seizures, you might want to tune out because my camera keeps bouncing all over the place. This is an R-rated channel. Yeah, I'm going to swear. I swear I'm going to swear. At some point, I'm going to swear. If it offends you, this just isn't the place for you. What else? Um, I think that's it. Let's see. So the Princess of Swords... Formulating a plan. Spirit, what is this plan about? I know it's about luxury and happiness. The Ten of Cups. <laughs> it's about harmony, happiness, values alignment in your life, in your relationships, in your marriages. So the prince, uh, Princess of Swords. Formulating how to get the Ten of Cups. Or is this communication coming in about the Ten of Cups? What is this right here? Ace of Swords. Truth. So there's some truth coming into you. There's a message of truth coming into you about harmony, happiness, values alignment in your feelings. Luxury. Overflowing. Cup overfloweth. Happiness. The devil in reverse. Releasing some kind of limiting belief. The limiting belief, what is the limiting belief? What is the limiting belief? What is this about? What is the limiting belief of this Pisces, 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 Pisces I? <laughs> What's the limiting belief of this Pisces right here? The six of, okay. Your limiting belief was that you thought it was over with the nine of pentacles. You thought there was a complete and total culmination to the situation. Death. You thought, you thought there was death. You thought the situation was dead and gone. And lo and behold, some communication comes into you about formulating, forming a ten of cups relationship. Truth is spoken with the ace of swords. It brings in your, your, your cup overfloweth, Pisces, and it brings in um, intense feelings of happiness. Clarified by the devil in reverse. Releasing limiting beliefs. What were the limiting beliefs? That this was culminated with the Nine of Pentacles and ended and dead with the death card, right? But now, lo and behold, there's a transformation, a, transformation, a change, a transition, right? A transition in the situation. Queen of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Some serious truth is being is going on here. Some serious truth is going on here. An exchange of serious truth is happening right here. To the Princess of Wands, inspired action being taken. To the Six of Wands and the Emperor. Hmm. Public recognition, victory, progress, success. To the Emperor, the card of Aries, could be an Aries, could be a fire sign, could be somebody who's just a shit getter dunner, like the Emperor, right? He gets shit done. Could be this guy. It is about the establishment, holy shit, it is about the establishment and the structure of your life, though. And the Three of Cups says there is reunion. Wow, Pisces. You know, I'm Pisces. 
I am. I mean, I know that um, mostly, you know, I'm, I'm, I identify with Taurus and Pisces. I have a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, and Pisces rising. And I have some Scorpio down in there somewhere. I have a little of Aquarius up in there somewhere. Um, what else do I have? I can't remember. But those are the three main ones, right? Taurus, Sun, Pisces, Moon, Pisces, Rising. Oh, Pisces, Venus. Okay, oppression. <laughs> the ten of, ten of Swords, oppression. Oppression. To the Fool in Reverse. Foolish, naive, risk-taking. Okay, risk-taking. So you feel... A, 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 as much as this brings happiness and the cup overflowing and inspired action and reunion and, and transformation, right? This is like, ah, right? There is an oppression inside of you, Pisces. There's a heavy weight inside of you because you don't want to be reckless, naive, foolish, because you've you've messed with this once before, otherwise the six of them, sorry, the three of cups wouldn't be here about reunion, right? So you've been down this road before, and the oppression is is the heaviness in your chest because you really don't want to be foolish, you really don't want to be naive, right? You 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 really don't. But the magician says that you've manifested this, you've manifested this, and you are going to take inspired action. In this situation, that's what the cards say. Whoever I'm, whoever I'm connecting with, right? To the Ace of Cups, overwhelming emotion, love. Huh. To the Six of Cups, reuniting and reconciling. To the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck in the past. Much love for the past. Much love for the past. Hierophant in the center of your reading, in the center of your reading, covered by the five of swords in reverse, open to change. And there's also <clears throat> dual purpose, right? This five of swords is dual purpose on top of this hierophant right here. This five of swords in reverse is about harboring some past resentment, but being open to change, just for the record. To the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is emotional insecurity because of the oppression right here, right? Because of whatever went down between the two of you last time around. Knight of Discs comes in and talks about assessing the landscape of your future. Looking down the road and figuring out what it is that you need to implement to make things grow the way that you want them to grow. Seven of Wands in reverse talks about um, feeling overwhelmed and giving up. That's why strength comes in. But why? Why? Why is Pisces feeling overwhelmed? Why do they want to give up? Why? What's going on here? The cards are so dramatic sometimes. They really are. They crack me up. So what's going on here? What's going on here? What is going on here? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, I offended him. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I'm sorry. It was a joke. I didn't mean it. Y'all are, though. You're dramatic. You're just dramatic. It's funny. In a good way. Drama in a good way. Okay. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So, oh. Okay, so this Knight of Discs isn't about assessing your future. This is about slow, right? Because this guy's a slow mover. That's why the, the, the job of the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Discs, is to walk the perimeter of the kingdom. And he makes sure the fences are tight, the crops are growing, the workers are working, everybody has the resources that they need, right? Because he's in charge of making shit go, right? And that's his job. So, but he does it slow, right? He's not rushing in like the Knight of Swords or the Knight of Wands. He's doing it slowly, right? Because it takes time. It's a day-long job to do that every day, right? So that's why he's slow. So it's about, it's about slow energy versus looking into your future, okay? Planning and executing what needs to be implemented to make it grow, right? It's about slow energy. So the Hierophant... 
commitment, all of this just freaking mind-blowing stuff, right? The Hierophant being commitment, the Five of Swords harboring a little resentment, but being open to change, but being emotionally insecure about the whole thing, right? To the Knight of Discs, because it's taken so fucking long. You thought that this was dead and gone, right? Dead and gone, and lo and behold, here it is up in your face again. To the Seven of Wands in reverse, you've given up on it. You've given up. It, you gave up a while back. You just gave up on it, right? To the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, no long-term focus. No long-term plans going on here. Strength. You're going to need some strength because there's communication coming into you with the Eight of Wands. Communication coming into you with the Eight of Wands about the Star card. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. To the Magician again, twice in this reading, two Queen of Swords, two Magicians. Tell me what the Magician is about. What is the Magician about? What is the Magician about, please? Spirit, what is the Magician about? The Four of Wands. Structure, stability, foundation, harmony, happiness in your life. You've manifested this. You've learned what you needed to learn. You've done the inner work that needs to be done in order to be to have something to bring to the table, right? It's what a lot of people don't understand. You know, everybody's like, oh, this relationship, that relationship. What do you bring into the table? Huh? What do you bring into the table? A bunch of emotional fucking baggage? No. You got to clean that out. You got to clear that shit out. And you have to be you have to be ready to give and receive with someone, right? You can't sit at a table and only eat. You have to bring something too. Understand? Understand? All right. So, you have manifested this. You have done the work that needs to be done because this is what's happening. And the Four of Pentacles tells me that there is um, twofold. It tells me that you are self-protective in this situation. And it also tells me that um, it brings a small amount of stability into the situation. Whatever this truth that's been spoken up here is. To the Princess of Discs, manifesting, right? Manifesting. To the Ace of Wands in reverse, where there was a lack of motivation, right? Because you thought this was dead and gone. It, it's just the Knight of Pentacles. It's been forever, right? It's just been forever. You thought it was dead and gone. And now it's manifesting. And the Ace of Wands in reverse is a lack of motivation. It's manifesting, but there's a lack of motivation, Or is this manifestation where there was a lack of motivation? What is the difference here? Yeah, to, to, to the Nine of Swords. Well, it's still unanswered, right? Still could go either way. Hold on. So is this Ace of Wands in reverse about a lack of motivation or about manifesting something where there was no motivation before? To the Nine of Swords being anxiety despair. Nines are where we get shit done, though. Nines are about fruition, attainment, right? It might be painful. It might be painful to be in that Nine of Swords energy, but staying up at night rubbing our head is where we get shit done. It's where we make decisions. It's where we decide what's important to us and what's not. It's about fruition, attainment, and that's what you're doing in the Nine of Swords, right? thinking about your next move. Tell me, Spirit, please tell me, is this Ace of Wands in reverse? Oh, usually they don't answer me when it's right in front of my face, right? Okay, so let's just look ahead. So power. Four of Swords contemplating. Okay, so Princess of Discs, Manifestation. Ace of Wands in reverse. 
lack of motivation. I think it's a lack of motivation for you, Pisces. I think you're just not as inclined to jump all over this as you would have been a while back. To the Nine of Swords, right? Thinking about fruition, completion, conclusion, bringing things around full circle one way or another, right? Four of Swords, contemplating. And the next card out is power. Oh, okay, contemplating the Knight of Cups. An emotional offer. Or offering your emotions or returning an emotional offer. To the Four of Discs being power. You do have all the power here. You have all the leverage here, Pisces. You have all the leverage. Yeah, you have all the leverage. You have the King of Pentacles. You're sitting in your throne like a badass, right? You have all the leverage. You have power. You have control. Total power and control in this situation. And it's going to change in the direction you want it to change. What else? Going to need some strength. Why? 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 To adapt. <laughs> release your fear. Deal with your sub. Release your fear. Fear. Deal with your repressed emotions. Because Nine of Cups is on the way. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. To change, right? Change. Your life is going to change. If you go forward with this, if this is even you. I mean, who knows who this is, right? Somebody could watch this, this, this reading right here and think, oh, this is me, this is me, this is me. And they call me for a personal reading and we lay out their cards and it's not them. It's not them. There's tones of it that were that are them, right? But you know what? In your personal reading, it could turn out that this is all fine and dandy, but two weeks later the girlfriend shows up pregnant and it all blows up in your face. And then you're and then you're like, Well, I thought this was supposed to be forecast, weather forecast, right? Okay. Hang man, thinking about all this change. Prudence, trying to make a decision with good discernment to the sun. Happiness, success, and vitality. Happiness, success, and vitality is what is on the table, Pisces. Seven of Cups in reverse, though. You don't think it's real. You think it's an illusion. You, you, you're you're something, something inside you, Pisces, just isn't, it just isn't buying it. Just isn't buying it. Because you thought it was gone. I'm going to read a recap of this reading here in just a second. I just want to get, I have the hiccups. Sorry. I just want to get one more card here on this Seven of Cups. I think it's an illusion. What's Pisces going to do? 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 Ooh. Four of Cups in reverse. Lost opportunity. Hmm, Pisces. Huh? To the High Priestess, searching your subconscious mind and your intuition. We're going to leave it there because there's no way to tell what Pisces would do because this isn't for any particular Pisces. This is just kind of a Pisces kind of thing. So who knows? Nobody can say what you're going to do because this isn't your reading, right? All right, so Pisces, right from the start, let's go. A princess of Swords, some communication. Actually, let me back up because I very well may cut off all of that shuffling and and dis, and uh, working the cards out, right? Or put a timestamp right here. Um, and so I'm going to start this reading as if I were starting a reading because, um, I might cut the tape here and just put this part on the, on YouTube. I'm not really sure yet. So excuse me while I back up and reset and do this again. Pisces, let's start your reading with the princess of swords. There is some communication that's coming into you about creating a 10 of cups relationship. Ace of Swords says truth is spoken. Truth is spoken. This brings in the luxury card. This is a sense of cups 
over, overflowing. Your cup overfloweth, Pisces. Happiness all around. Happiness. Joy, joy. Happy, happy. Devil card clarifies this and says that you have, need to, or will release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Your limiting beliefs are that this situation came to an end, a culmination, a conclusion with the Nine of Pentacles. It is dead in the water, dead and gone, dead and gone. Don't even think about it anymore, right? But now there's messages of transitioning this into a new life. Because that's all death is, is a transition, right? To the Queen of Swords, somebody is speaking their truth. Somebody is speaking their truth to the Queen of Swords. Somebody is speaking their truth. Some buddies are speaking their truth to each other. To the Princess. Princess? Yeah. <laughs> princess of Wands. This is about um, enthusiasm, discovery, exploration. It's about taking inspired action. This is a card about um, this communication that's going through between the two of you is about exploration and discovery. It's about getting together and talking about if you guys can form something. To the Three of Wands, victory, progress. Success to the emperor with the emperor, maybe Aries, fire sign, just somebody who who embodies the energy of the emperor, somebody who is strong and knows what they want. And they're coming towards you as the emperor. I mean, it doesn't get any higher than the emperor, right? And they're coming towards you and they're saying, Pisces, me and you, we're going to have another go around what he's saying to the three of cups reunion reuniting reuniting with the emperor oppression there's heaviness though there's heaviness heaviness you don't want to be foolish you don't want to be naive stupid cut your nose off to spite your face because you've had a go round with this person before or there wouldn't be the reunion card there right you don't want to be foolish. You don't want to be reckless. You don't want to make a bad decision in this situation. Not again. To the magician. This is, is about resourcefulness. It's about inspired action and resourcefulness. And this is saying that you're going to pull together all four elements and you're going to use your, your logic and your reasoning with your air energy. You are going to use your... Uh, um, passion, your, um, your, uh, f fire, right? You're going to, you're going to be, pa you're going to use passion. You're going to weigh passion against the mental. You're going to use your feelings. You're going to weigh your feelings against the mental and the passion, and you're going to use your sense of security. You're going to weigh your well being against your passion, against your mental, mental, and against your feelings, right? And that's what this card is representing. You are manifesting this into your life. To the Ace of Cups, lots of feels flying around all over the place. Feels flying around all over the place. To the Six of Cups, reuniting and reconciling your differences. To the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This relationship's been stuck for a long time. It's been stuck. It hasn't gone anywhere. Y'all haven't talked. Y'all haven't done anything like I said earlier. You probably just don't even think about it anymore. It's been stuck for a long time. And this person is stuck on you for sure. <clears throat> Hierophant. Commitment. Your place in the world. Your power. Your wisdom. In the center of your reading. Using all of it. Considering all of it. Considering everything everything to the five of swords in reverse there's still some resentment but you're open to change to the queen of cups in reverse although be it emotionally insecure about this whole situation knight of discs again slow moving energy it's been so slow coming right that the seven of wands says you done gave up just gave up 
right? Haven't thought about it in a minute. Just gave up on it. To the page of pentacles in reverse because nothing was making. Nothing was making. Going to have to be strong though because there is communication coming in for you from this emperor. Going to have to be strong because there's communication coming in about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. The magician, again, manifesting, taking, ta uh, taking inspired action, being resourceful about the way that you handle this situation. This is manifesting. This is bringing you the four of wands, structure, stability, foundation, formation out of stagnation to the four of pentacles, putting you in an in a energy where you need, where you feel you need to protect yourself. And it's also about bringing just a little bit of balance, this truth that was spoken, a little bit of balance into the situation. The princess of discs. This is manifestation. Straight up manifestation. Manifestation of security. Okay? Manifestation of security. Ace of wands in reverse. Lack of motivation. Delays. Lack of motivation because of delays. You changed. You're not the same person you were. You're not the same person you were last month, let alone whenever this shit went down. Nine of swords up in your head. Hard trying to make a decision about what it is that you need to do. To the Four of Swords, contemplating, but in a defensive posture. The Four of Swords is thinking about what your next move is going to be. To the Knight of Cups, do you accept this person's offer of feelings? Do you return this person's offer of feelings? Power. You have all the leverage in this situation, Pisces all the leverage. This person is coming to you and saying, Pisces, let's do this again. And if the ball is in your court, Pisces, you have all the power. The Knight of Pentacles, power, control, self-discipline. You have this. It's, the ball is in your court. You have complete and total control over the outcome of this situation. And you're going to need some strength, right? You're going to have to be strong to do what's right for you, to balance and adapt to what is happening here. The moon in reverse, dealing with repressed emotions, releasing your fears. To the nine of cups, it brings you wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Whether you get back into this relationship or not, you still have wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Because you're doing you your way. Either way you go, Pisces. It's win-win. Win-win. Blackjack, baby. Change. Right? Your life is about to change. Something is about to change in your life. Hangman. The card of Pisces. Right? Something's about to change. And this is an energy of waiting for that change to come. This is an energy of, of sitting, not waiting for that change to come. It's an energy of digesting that change, okay? In, in this hangman card, you are digesting the change that has just happened in your life. You're just, you're just sitting back. You're not doing anything. You're just processing. Prudence, right? trying to use a massive amount of discernment to make a good and prudent decision about your happiness. About your happiness, Pisces. What do you want? What do you want, Pisces? What do you want? Are you good on your own? I was good on my own. Are you good on your own? You might be. Would you be good in this situation? You might be. Seven of Cups in reverse talks about illusion, though. You're like, mm, nah, you know. <laughs> give me once. My bad. Give me twice. Now, give me once. You're bad. Give me twice. My bad, right? Four of Cups in reverse says it's lost opportunity. And then the High Priestess comes in, talks about your subconscious mind and your intuition. So this can go one of two ways, Pisces. 
Either this is a lost opportunity because you're listening to your intuition or this is this was a lost opportunity and you are sitting in your intuition in the hangman energy trying to figure it out. One of the two. Either this is a lost opportunity and your intuition is guiding you away from it or this was a lost opportunity and you are sitting with your intuition trying to figure it out. What's the outcome? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. How could the cards even begin to predict an outcome when we don't even know who this is for? We don't even know who this is for. You could go either way in this, Pisces. There's no way we can predict an outcome. Was If this was your personal reading, could we predict an outcome? If you've made a decision, right? If you've made a decision, we could predict an outcome. But even in a personal reading, if there's no decision to be made, how can, how can the outcome be predicted? Nobody knows what you're going to do, right? Free will. That's free will, right? All right, you guys, that was awesome. 36 minutes in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it meant something to you. If you see yourself in these cards, um, reach out to somebody that you trust to read for you and get a personal reading, okay? Namaste.